Hello everyone, now let us discuss about 2023 CPT coding guidelines for surgery digestive system part 4. In the current session, we will be focusing the CPTs in the range 431802-43232. In the previous session, we have discussed about the incision and excision of esophagus. Esophagus is divided into, the CPTs are divided into Incision, excision, endoscopy, laparoscopy, repair, manipulation and other procedures. In the previous session, we have discussed about the incision CPTs and excision CPTs. In the current session, we will be discussing about one type of endoscopy. Endoscopy is again categorized into esophagoscopy, esophagogastrodeodinoscopy, EGD or endoscopic retrograde angio pancreatography ERCP. In the current session, we will be discussing about esophagoscopy. Few points regarding endoscopy. When bleeding occurs as a result of an endoscopic procedure, control of bleeding is not reported separately during the same operative session. This is an important point to remember. Remember. When bleeding occurs as a result of an endoscopic procedure, because that procedure itself is causing the bleeding, control of bleeding is not reported separately during the same operative session. And the esophagoscopy includes examination from the cricopharyngeal muscle, that is upper esophageal splinter to and including the gastroesophageal junction. It may also include examination of the proximal region of the stomach via retroflexion when performed. These are some of the points that must be taken into consideration when we are coding endoscopy. So as we have discussed earlier, endoscopy is divided into esophagoscopy, EGD and ERCP. In the current session, we will be discussing about esophagoscopy and the CPT range is 431802, 43232. So, broadly, the CPTs are broadly categorized into type of the esophagoscopy. It can be rigid or flexible. Rigid esophagoscopy or flexible esophagoscopy. Coming to the first CPT, 43180. It includes esophagoscopy rigid. Here you can see it comes under rigid. Esophagoscopy rigid transoral with diverticulectomy of hypopharynx or cervical esophagus with cricopharyngeal myotomy includes the use of telescope or operating microscope and repair when performed. And the note is do not report 43180 in conjunction with 43210 and 63990. And for diverticulectomy of hypopharynx or esophagus open, you need to refer the CPTs 43102 and 43135. The next CPT is 43191. It deals with esophagoscopy rigid transoral diagnostic including collection of specimen by brushing or washing when performed. Esophagoscopy rigid transoral diagnostic. The next CPT is 43192. It deals with esophagoscopy rigid transoral with directed submucosal injection, any substance. That is the complete description of 43192. And do not report 43192 in conjunction with 43191, 43197 and 43198. The next CPT is 43193. It deals with esophagoscopy rigid transoral with the biopsy single or multiple. The next is 43194. Whenever esophagoscopy rigid transoral is done with the removal of foreign body, you need to report 43194. And if it is done with balloon dilation less than 30 mm diameter, then the reportable CPT is 43195. And along with it, if fluoroscopy guidance is performed, you need to use 74360. And for esophageal dilation with balloon, 30 mm diameter or larger, you need to refer 43214 and 43233. And for dilation without endoscopic visualization, 
you need to see 43450 and 43453. And for flexible trans-oral esophagoscopy with the balloon dilation, less than 30 mm diameter, you need to use 43220. The next CPT is 43196. It deals with esophagoscopy rigid trans-oral with insertion of guide wire followed by dilation over guide wire. The next is 43197. The 43197 series, it deals with esophagoscopy flexible. Previously, it is rigid and transoral. Now, 43197 deals with esophagoscopy flexible transnasal. Diagnostic including collection of specimen by brushing or washing when performed. And below are the list of CPTs along with which you cannot report 43197. And do not report 43197 in conjunction with 31231 unless separate type of endoscope is used. And for transoral esophagoscopy, you need to refer 43191 and 43200. The next is 43198. 43198 deals with esophagoscopy flexible transnasal with biopsy single or multiple. The next CPT is 43200. It deals with esophagoscopy flexible transoral. Previously, it is flexible transnasal. Now, it is flexible transoral diagnostic including collection of specimen by brushing or washing when performed. The next CPT is 43201. It deals with esophagoscopy flexible transoral with the directed submucosal injection any substance. The next CPT is 43202. It deals with esophagoscopy flexible transoral with the biopsy single or multiple. If esophagoscopy flexible transoral with the injection sclerosis of esophageal varices, you need to quote 43204. And for esophagoscopy flexible transoral with the band ligation of esophageal varices. Band ligation of esophageal varices. The code is 43205. And 43206 must be report, reported for esophagoscopy transoral flexible with optical endomicroscopy. And report the supply of contrast agent separately whenever we are coding 43206. And do not report 43206 in conjunction with 43197, 43198, 43200 and 88375. The next CPT is 43215. It deals with esophagoscopy flexible transoral with removal of foreign body. And for esophagoscopy flexible transoral with removal of tumor, polyp or other lesion by Hot biopsy forceps, the CPT is 43216. The next CPT is 43217. It deals with esophagoscopy flexible transoral with removal of tumor, polyp or other lesions by snare technique. Previously, 43216, it deals with removal of tumor, polyp or lesions by hot biopsy forceps. Now it is snare technique. The next CPT is 43211. It deals with esophagoscopy flexible transoral with endoscopic mucosal resection. The next is 43212. It deals with esophagoscopy flexible transoral with the placement of endoscopic stunt. And for esophagoscopy transoral flexible with the trans endoscopic balloon dilation less than 30 mm diameter, the CPT is 43220. The next is 43213. The number sign is indicated because it is an out of numerical sequence code. 43213. It deals with esophagoscopy flexible transoral with the dilation of esophagus by balloon or dilator retrograde. It includes fluoroscopic guidance when performed. The next is 43214. It deals with esophagoscopy flexible transoral with the dilation of esophagus with balloon. 30 mm diameter or larger. It includes fluoroscopic guidance when performed. The next CPT is 
The next is 4-3-2-2-6. It deals with esophagoscopy, flexible transoral with the insertion of guide wire followed by passage of dilator over guide wire. The next is 4-3-2-2-7. It deals with esophagoscopy, flexible transoral with the control of bleeding any method. The next is 4 3 double 2 9. It deals with esophagoscopy, flexible transoral with ablation of tumor, polyp, or other lesions, including pre and post dilation and guide wire passage when performed. The next is 4 3 2 3 1. It deals with esophagoscopy, flexible transoral with the endoscopic ultrasound examination. And do not report 43231 more than once per session. That is an important point. The next is 43232. It deals with esophagoscopy flexible transoral with the trans endoscopic ultrasound guided intramural or transmural fine needle aspiration or biopsy. Here also do not report 43232 more than once per session. Now, let us see an example. A patient suffering from cirrhosis of liver from alcohol abuse presents with a history of coffee ground emesis, that is bleeding. The surgeon diagnoses the patient with esophageal ga gastric varices. And two days later in the hospital GI lab, the surgeon ligates the varices with bands via a upper gastrointestinal tract endoscopy. That is nothing but esophagoscopy. Esophagoscopy is performed along with the ligation of varices with the bands. So the correct CPT is 43205. It deals with esophagoscopy, flexible, transoral, diagnostic including collection of specimen by brushing or washing when performed with band ligation of esophageal Basis. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.